And you're live. Okay. Well, not really live, per se. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you know it's filming. That's one, that's one way to put it. Okay. <laughs> now, I promised the person who sent me this package that I would make a video on this. And I intend to make good on that promise. Now, what is in this box? I commissioned a plushie from this, this person. And she's already made me one plushie. But this one is supposedly bigger and has more detail. Now, I've seen pictures of it. I'm not completely blind to what this looks like. They've shown me pictures this entire time of progress that it's been going through. But I wanted to make a video about it because from the pictures, it looks absolutely glorious. So, huge shout out to Panda's Plushie Palace on Etsy for this. I'm definitely going to have a link in the description to her shop because she is amazing. Holy cow, she actually taped it in a way I can open it. <laughs> it's like, that's a new one. It's like every time I order something off Etsy, it takes me like 10 minutes to open. And I may have spoken too soon. Hold on. I'm going to end up like tangled in tape by the end of this. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ah, come on. Ah. I like I like basic human strength, so bear with me. Okay. What kind of box is this? There's one more strip right yeah, there. Yeah, I'm working on it. <laughs> there you go. This yep. is a very interesting box. It looks like she cut the box and then, like, so it would fit more securely, so there wouldn't be a huge... Probably. ...airspace. <laughs> Cinder sniffing it. Dog is helping. Are you helping, honey? She's like, there's something new in there, and I, and I want to sniff it. It's <laughs> She's a box. literally sniffing the box. It smells alien. I must sniff. <laughs> Building suspense. There we go. Zooming in. Okay, it's covered by blue tissue paper. <laughs> that dog is going to oh get... Oh, my God, this thing... If you gonna... get your face off of it... <laughs> You're going to get a paper cut, dog. I'm more worried about her deciding to chew on it. What are you doing? She does not know. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Dog She's does not know. My hand. Dog. Cinder. <laughs> dog. Leave it, Cindy. I was about to say, you, you don't usually chew stuffed animals, but you've done it in the past, so I do not want Aww, to Aw, look at that face. Denied. <laughs> Denied. All right. Now, for okay. the actual purpose. Oh, she even... Oh, Okay. Well, this is a good place to start, but make anyone watching this be in suspense longer. Um, she did say that she was making extra cuffs. That she These are were supposed to go on the back legs, but she had trouble getting them to work, and I told her it's okay if they don't work because she doesn't have bracers on her back legs anyway. So I'm probably going to put these on the plushie she's already made me. And Holy shit, like how big that is. <laughs> oh my goodness. When she said it was big, she wasn't kidding. Oh my goodness. Cinder, you were not helpful. <laughs> I love you, Cinder, but you are not making this any easier. Holy mother of God. Look at this thing. It's massive. I mean, like, I've seen pictures, so it's like I knew this was going to be big, but holy crap, I didn't think she meant this big. Make sure there's nothing else in the box. Oh, there's a note. What's this? I'll, I'll, bit, I'll freak out over the plushie in a minute. Oh, <laughs> there's a card for her thing. She, she, there's a note in here. It's a, it, bear with me. I might not be able to read this handwriting very well. Do you want me to read it? Mine. What do you want, Brennan? <laughs> Weirdo. Why are you looking at it? I have her. Yeah, you stay out. This is not about you. Now oh go back God. to your video. No, no <laughs> offense to her whatsoever, but man. Her handwriting Brennan, like no. Get down. Eyes. Brennan, honey, this is not a good time. Go back in the playroom. I was not even going to try and <laughs> pretend that this was going to be a, a video, a clean video. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake, I'm, we have the, we have the TV's right behind the view. What? Oh, we're watching Game Theory. Brennan, but, um, leave the room. Brennan, honey, please give us a few minutes. Okay. Love you very much. Mom, we'll be, we'll be done in a minute, buddy. Don't the climb behind me. I'm. You're making the film all jiggly. Now get down. Give me a hug. Fine. Give me a quick hug. All right. Hug. Love you. You're now, wonderful. Now, buddy, can you give us now, a few shoot. minutes? 
Go sure. in the playroom for just a few sure. minutes, okay, buddy? Off with you. Go play with the hanger. <laughs> there you go. Go play with the clothes hanger. Oh, that's not going to end well. No, it won't. No, it won't. Brennan, playroom. What is he even doing? He is toddlering. He's toddlering? <laughs> but I mean, Which means he's that. going to be as annoying as possible. Yes, he is. Okay. Um, Apologies for all the jiggling of the frame for the last 10 minutes. Oh, Mom, I, I just said I'm not, it's not like I was going to try and pretend this was going to be professional. All right, I'm just saying, he was like jumping on I the couch like, no, directly behind me. I was going to try and pretend that this was professional. Okay, um. You think so, dog? Again, no offense to her, but I can't read this. You, you know what? <laughs> so, yeah. If, if my, my generation mom, can read handwriting. my mom can translate. But I'm, okay. I'm. And I want to point out that, again, like, seriously, no offense to, to, to her at all. And, and if she's watching this, no offense to you. Your handwriting is fine. It's just that... Yeah, like, she actually has very pretty handwriting. Her, I Because I have, like, I have, like, autism and stuff. My well, you, eyes, also, you, you guys also weren't taught handwriting, really, in high in school. Well, I could never read cursive. Even anyway. I, could, I still can't read. On to the letter. Hi. I just wanted to say it's been a huge pleasure to make Voltara again. After my last project, I was feeling really down, frustrated, and was wondering if I should even keep trying to do double do custom work. I saw this dragon pattern and really wanted it, but re couldn't really justify the purchase. However, suddenly having the opportunity to do a project I was excited about I, was amazing. Making this plush really brought my spirits up. Thank you so much for the opportunity to make something I really feel proud of. I look forward to working with you again in the future. Sincerely, Paula Weymeyer? I want to say maybe I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. I hate mangling people's last names, so I'm sorry it's if it's okay. incorrect. I'm sure, I'm sure she. The last names are always hard. But yes, that's what it says. That's so sweet of her to say, and and I was I wanted to make sure I gave her as much encouragement, especially after she expressed that to me, because I know all too well what that's like to feel very discouraged about how you create create things. But holy mother of Christ, look at this beauty! Like, look at this. It's so, it's made of super soft material. It's made of the same material as my other one. Dagger. <laughs> you can't film in the south. No, I can't. Dagger, hey, stop scratching the stairs. Do, do I need to chuck the pillow yep, in? Yep, I gotta do it. I just got... <laughs> oh, but he didn't even have to. Nope, just gotta raise the pillow when he runs. <laughs> chuck the pillow with the cat. I prefer to avoid violence, so I generally just threats. Yeah, let me take a little bit of fuzzies that look like they've stuck to it, but it's okay. It's like, let me look this over. You... I was really happy she was she accommodated me asking about the bracers, because this was the thing I wasn't too sure about. But she, so like, we kind of worked out what to do about those, and I kind of gave ideas that you could use, like, felt, you could use pieces of fabric for it, and I was curious if she'd be able to do the gems, and yeah, sure enough. That looks really cool, actually. Curious. Oh, she didn't! Okay, I so was, you could take them on and off. That's cool. I was actually going to ask her if, if, if she was planning on stitching it to the plush. They look like they're stretchy. So you could actually the extra bracers you could almost wear as well, bracelets. No, they're not stretchy. Oh, they're not stretchy. No. You could probably but, get them over your wrist though. Well, actually, yeah, I could actually wear this. I was gonna bracelet. say the extra ones you could maybe wear as a bracelet, <laughs> or for, or when you cosplay her. Yeah, if I ever can, I wish. But yeah, I, I actually wondered if she was going to sew them to the plushie or not, and I and I I was tempted to ask her specifically not to, so I could so they could be removable. But I decided against it because I was like, I, she's already accommodating like a, a dozen things for this plush. Right. So I was like, yeah, I'll just I'll just see what happens. And yeah, sure enough, she actually didn't sew them to the plush. So that's awesome. More points on her end. Now something that I realized is that she. I guess like it, it slipped both our minds. Voltar has has a bracer on her tail, so I'm gonna I'm curious to see if I can actually get this on, because one of these will go on her tail for accuracy, and that's no fault of hers, because I didn't realize it until later either that I had forgotten about that detail. So it's not her fault, and it's also not that big of a deal either. <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. I mean, I don't even I I would not have cared if she got a color wrong with how good this thing looks. Seriously, like look at this thing. Yeah, the way she did the the horns is impressive. I mean, it really does look just like well, your. Well, she's she freaking. Nails. And that's not easy because those are real irregular shaped. Yeah. I mean, that's that's some detail right there. Well, yeah, you saw the other one that she made. She freaking nailed the horns. Yeah, because I mean, honestly, your the design for your head, your entire head adornment, the spikes and the horns and everything, are is really 
detailed. I mean, it's not your basic, oh, here's a couple horns, here's some, here's your basic dragon spikes, yeah, ha, let's go. I mean, it's that's really impressive. Still trying to get this on. <laughs> yeah, it seems to fit pretty good. Yeah, it fits perfectly. So there you go, that's what one of them can go for. There you go. Now it's perfect. And, and one other small detail, and it's actually funny because I didn't think of this. She actually brought up this idea. And that's that whenever I draw Voltara, if you look at any of my artwork, I usually draw her with white spots on her wings kind of as a way to look, make them look like a starry night. And she asked me if she, want, if, she, if, if she wanted me to do that. And I was like, if, I'm not sure how you would do that, but she basically, she nailed it perfectly. Oh, yeah, it's got little she, flecks. Yeah, she has the she put with the white flexes on it, which actually makes it more like how I draw her, making it more unique to me. The wings are also wired too, so you, so they can be slightly posed. And the face marking is perfect. Oh my gosh! I actually didn't even see. You that. didn't see the marking? Well, actually, I in the pictures that in the latest punch pictures he sent me. It looked like that wasn't there. So yeah. I was actually worried that, oh, man, I forgot to mention that to her. And, nope. and that's the one detail I forgot. Nope, she didn't. Didn't miss it. If I haven't made it clear this person is awesome yet, then no I kidding, don't know what right? you want me to say. Her attention to detail is really amazing. Oh, my goodness. Like, here, get like a good Yeah, let's view. get a good. Here, that's a little close. There we go. I'll do a little pan here. Or maybe, yeah. here, I'll turn it sideways so you can get a. There we go. Get a full length view. Well, that might have messed up the recording. Yeah, actually, it kind of did. But that's some, okay. sometimes, if you don't do it the right way on my phone, it ends up upside down. It's all good. But we'll I'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna back up. I'll lean back a little bit. So get, yeah, full length. Okay, turn her a little bit. Turn her slowly so we can get like the full panoramic view here. Yeah, she looks great. Yeah, she's so pretty. Oh, the tail is perfect. I know. That's. I was oh actually, wow. Let's I, let's zoom in on I that. I was getting to that. Her tail is perfect. That, like I said, your design is not easy, and that. Well, granted, there are dragon designs way more complicated I'm than mine. Sure, my, but my so... dragon design is actually considered simple. Yeah, the tail design is perfect. That looks great. Well, Tara's design is actually simple compared to other ones. I, I like the shade of green she used for the toes. That looks great. Oh, she freaking nailed it. It's really nice. Like I'm, I'm, I don't want to hug it too hard because I don't want to mess something up. But oh my god, it is perfect like hugging size. And the thing is, is that the pattern that she mentioned in the letter, originally when I purchased this, when I like made the purchase for the custom, this wasn't the pattern she was going to use. Right, she said she found she a new one. She was going to make a slightly one that was only slightly bigger than the one I already have. But then she messaged me, I think a day later on Etsy, Showing me this pattern and, and saying she she's been wanting to buy this for a long time and finally purchased it and she asked if I would prefer if she used this pattern and because it was obviously bigger and more detailed I was like yes it looks like she's looking at you kind of she's listening to everything you're saying oh totally very attentive but the, the kicker too is the plushie she was going to make originally had the had a rounded muzzle Voltara as you as anyone yeah knows has you, the I always drew her with like almost like a beak a beak mm -hmm. face. Because she, she has, like, a very pointed face. This pattern has that, mm -hmm. unlike the other one. So when I saw that, I was like, this is going to be even more accurate because it has her beak face. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't even. Pokemon Go Fest and now this. <laughs> I'm not even kidding either because we were actually driving a, a midway to go for Pokemon Go Fest, and then I got a notification on Etsy saying this had been delivered, so I was like, Mom, turn around! Because <laughs> I didn't see the package, and I wanted to make sure that nothing happened to it, so it's been sitting in the car with us since freaking two in, 2 in the afternoon. And I think it's like, what, 6.37 right now? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I can't even... I, I'm trying to, I don't even know what to say anymore. Like, I'm just so in shock. This is absolutely beautiful. It's so big. I can't even get over that. Like, how big it is. This thing is massive. Here, let's get this giant. <coughs> Actually, let me make sure there's nothing else in the box. Before I chuck it. Yeah, I'll just give it here. Okay, there's nothing else. The blue ra the tissue paper is pretty cool, though. And it's actually funny because that because she because that, that's a reference to something I had said 
I while we were talking on Etsy, we talked a lot on Etsy while she was working on this, and I I made a joke that like like I could totally imagine Voltara like laying in a nest of tissue paper and bubble wrap because she totally would, and so I I I was wondering if she was actually gonna put tissue paper in the box, and yeah, she did. And so yeah, there's this one extra cuff that I'll, I'll probably see if I can put on my other plushie in some way. I was gonna try and put it around the neck, but it's not gonna fit, so I'll I'll find a way. I'll do something with it because it's cool. But yeah, holy crap, this thing is amazing. And I'm going to post this all over the freaking internet. <laughs> I'm going to brag like I bragged to it about this cute little thing. Yeah, you. Chuck's jealous. <laughs> She's jealous of my Volti plush. Probably thinks it's a new pet. Yeah, might as well be. I, we love aren't... I love it just as much as one. You're the only puppy coming into this house. God, she was totally right. This is like perfect hugging size. <laughs> well, she she said that too. Like in the messages, she was like, man, this thing's gonna be like perfect hugging size. And I'm like, awesome. It's kind of awkward though, like how I, I have to like find a good angle for this because of the horns. <laughs> there we go. There's a perfect one. Yeah, you don't want to put your eye out. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't do that. They're very plush, but it's like, it's, it's like awkward trying to hug this thing because I don't want to like flatten the horns because they could come off. It looks really well stitched, though. I uh, know, but I have terrible luck with this stuff. I'm, yeah, I'm, and plus, it's very also, secure. Because, because it's such, such a wonderful thing, I'm, I'm terrified of, of ruining it, so. Yes, this is going to be my my most prized possession. And it's funny that she mentions working with me in the future, because I actually have been pondering <laughs> at com commissioning her for something else. Although, because because I, I now have two plushies of Voltara, I think I've met my quota for that. But at some point, I would like to see if she, if I could get her to make a Voltage Plus plush, because, I mean, I have a Voltara plush, so I need to have a Voltage to complete the pair in some way, shape, or form. So that's that's an idea I have. Like, obviously, if I'm going to go for a custom plush, I'm obviously going to get it from her, because she's awesome, clearly. I mean, look at this thing! <laughs> and then I'm also thinking maybe the next plushie I order, since I've got ordered two dragons from her, once I, once I have, you know, a paycheck again, <laughs> I'll probably order a pony this time because I have, I have a bunch of pony OCs that I, I would also love to have plushies of. I don't know how well she, how, how experienced she is with ponies, but then again, she's, she's told me also that she likes when people give her new suggestions so she can experiment like she did with this. So I think it'd be kind of entertaining to, to see like, how good are you at making ponies? <laughs> She does offer ponies, but like not like they're they're in like the chibi form. So like I said, we'll see, we'll see. But that's my idea of what I'll probably a ask of her in the future. But yeah, seriously, if you want like a a plush, and you know you're a a decent human being who won't be a jerk, <laughs> seriously go commission her because she's experienced that in the past. And if, as an artist myself, nothing is worse than being to than basically be. If, people demanding things of you when you're doing your best. So seriously, be nice to her. She's awesome. And she's very sweet. So, I think that pretty much sums up this amazingness that's currently sitting in my lap. But yeah, Panda's Plushy Palace is her is her shop name and I will put, I will definitely be putting her her, um, Shop link in the description. Believe me, I've already posted like pics of this in other places, and they were like, "Give me the link now." <laughs> but yeah, I can't think of what else to say. You got anything else to add there, mom? No, no, no. no. How to end videos? <laughs> I know that's. <laughs> Somebody help I told you. Back. It's like we said earlier. The hardest part is the ending. Well, I guess other than me internally squealing like I am right now, say bye bye. Multi <laughs> for the win. Adiós.